A fraud conviction has not stopped Evans Landscaping from collecting more than $400,000 from local government agencies in the past three years. The money was used for work contracts and items such as mulch and gravel. And in 2018, a jury convicted Evans Landscaping and owner Doug Evans of defrauding the city of Cincinnati and the state of Ohio. Investigative reporter Paula Christian explains why Evans is still winning government contracts here locally. I think the optics are bad for a government that would continue to contract with a company that's been convicted of minority contracting fraud. Tom Hodges is a lawyer who specializes in local government. He has no direct knowledge of the Evans landscaping case, but he does know the rules for handing out government contracts. Company convictions are, are not very common. A jury convicted Doug Evans of setting up a shell company with an African-American employee as the figurehead in order to win millions in government jobs. That work was supposed to go to minority and small business contractors. The name of the shell company was Ergon Site Construction, which federal prosecutors say could be rearranged to form the word Negro. Ergon was not independently owned and controlled by Mr. Jordan. Everything about what Ergon did was owned and controlled and for the benefit of Evans. Then U.S. Attorney Ben Glassman said he hoped the Evans case would serve as a deterrent. Prosecutors wanted Evans banned from all public work for three years. But Judge Michael Barrett refused. So Evans can and has legally performed work for Hamilton County, Newtown, Union Township, Forest Hill Schools and the Kenton County Airport Board since then from snow removal to demolitions. We reached out to Evans for comment, but got no response. I got these government contracts and vendor payments through public records requests. The total is $430,000 in three years. Why do some local governments still do business with Evans? I asked them. A spokesman for Hamilton County, which gave Evans a $65,000 demolition contract in 2020, says, quote, the county examined its bidding criteria at the time and determined that the bid must be awarded to Evans. However, we are actively evaluating all options for addressing these issues in the future. State law requires local governments to take the lowest and the best bid. Hodges says it's up to each government agency to define what best is. I think protecting its own taxpayers perhaps is, is probably the best reason why a, a government would want to, you know, look closely at a bid at a bid, you know, from a contractor in those in those circumstances, even if it were the lowest. The city of Cincinnati has not awarded any contracts to Evans since his conviction. A spokesman says the city, quote, would consider the criminal conviction of Evans Landscaping and its owners or executives if it sought a contract with the city in the future. But Hodges says some taxpayers may only care about price. I think there's a good portion of taxpayers that would say if they can get it done the cheapest, that's all we care about. Paula Christian, WCPO 9, I team. And if you would like to know which government agencies are spending money with Evans and how much, you can check out Paula's digital story on WCPO.com.